Erica, what the hell? How could you keep this from me? You owe me an explanation. Why didn't you tell me when the house was done? What? What are you talking about? Oh, don't play dumb with me. You know what I'm talking about. You sold our childhood home and built a new one, right? The one you and mom and dad are supposed to live in now, right? Why didn't you tell me it was finished? I'm your sister, for God's sake. Don't I deserve to know? Hey, calm down. We did tell you. I texted you the date. Don't you remember? Or are you mad about the housewarming party? Is that it? If that's the case, I'm sorry. It was a last minute thing. Housewarming party? No, that's not it. I don't care about some stupid party. I care about our family and I care about our home. And I care about where I'm gonna stay. But guess what? I'm moving in with you guys. I need a place to crash for a while. And I hope you save the best room for me. The one with the most sunlight. Um, yeah, about that. Anyway, I'll be there tomorrow. I hope you're ready for me. And tell mom and dad I'm coming, okay? Bye. Wait a minute. Sienna, hold on. I have to ask you something. I heard a rumor that you were moving back here. What's going on? Why are you leaving your place? Yep, it's true. I'm coming back home. You heard right. It's a long story, but I'll spill the beans if you want. Wow, really? That's shocking. But what about Jaden? What about your husband? Aren't you guys happy together? Oh, that's over. That's the long story I mentioned. Yeah, I'm dumping him. So I'm moving back to mom and dad's for a bit. You're breaking up? No way! Yeah, I'm done with that jerk. He's been driving me crazy with his stinginess. He won't spend a dime on me. Nothing! I can't stand living like that anymore, so I finally stood up to him. Wow, really? What happened? He seemed like a nice guy. I thought he was sweet and generous. Ugh, he's not. He's a total cheapskate. You have no idea, trust me. He only gives me a measly allowance every month. It's barely enough to survive. I've begged him to give me more, but he just tells me to deal with it. Deal with it, he says. So, I'm always struggling to pay the bills with this pathetic allowance. I'm fed up with the situation, and I just want to go home and start over. Wow, he's not even giving you enough to get by? That's awful. I can't believe it. I'm so sorry. I had no idea you were suffering so much. Yeah, so I'm going to pack my bags while he's at work and get out of there. I'll leave him a note with the divorce papers and say goodbye. But if he calls you, don't tell him anything about me coming home, okay? Zip it! Got it. Will do. Okay, then I'll let mom and dad know about all this too. We'll stick together. Family first. Thanks, sis. I appreciate it. You're the best. And by the way, if you do talk to Jaden, don't trust anything he says. He's a smooth talker and knows how to manipulate people to get what he wants. So be careful. I bet he's gonna try to make me look like the bad guy and try to get me back. But don't fall for it, okay? Like I said, he's a smooth talker and a liar. Erica, long time no see. How have you been? Look, I'm sorry to bother you out of nowhere, but I need your help. Do you have any idea where Shanna is? She's gone missing and I can't find her anywhere. Jaden, I'm sorry, but I can't help you with that. I know she's safe. That's all I can say. What? You know she's safe? How do you know that? And why can't you tell me where she is? She told me you two broke up and it was a nasty one. She's scared of you, Jaden. She doesn't want you to know where she's hiding. She's my sister and I have to protect her. I can't tell you anything. Please understand. Really? Is that what she told you? Fine, I get it. But that hurts, Erica. Can you at least tell me what she said about our breakup? What was her reason for leaving me? It would mean a lot to me if you could tell me that. Well, she didn't say much. But she did mention that the money you gave her every month wasn't enough for her. She said you never listened to her, no matter how hard she tried to talk to you about it, and that you were a liar and a cheat. Yeah, of course, she said that. That's the story she wants you to believe, Erica. But that's not the whole truth. You're only hearing one side of the story, you know. What do you mean? Listen, Erica. What Shanna said about me and money is a lie. You can't trust anything she says about this. 
I never treated her badly or denied her anything she needed. I always took care of her and gave her the money she deserved. What she's telling you is all wrong. She's twisting the facts to suit her agenda. The sad truth is that she has a serious problem with spending all my money. It's been going on for a long time. What? No way. That's hard to swallow. Yeah, but it's true. You see, when we got married, I gave her full control over the household finances. I just handed over my paychecks to her. I trusted her and told her to take her monthly allowance from it, use what we needed for living expenses, and save the rest. But then, one day, I checked the account and found out that after three years of marriage, we only had about $1,000 in savings. In other words, Shanna had somehow managed to blow almost my entire salary every month. Are you kidding me? That's insane, Jaden. No, I'm not kidding. It's true. She claimed that it all went to necessary living expenses, but that's impossible and ridiculous. She was obviously spending it on useless things like clothes, makeup, and salon visits. That's what I think anyway. So I decided that I would only give her money after she showed me receipts for what she spent it on. I told her I would only pay for the things we actually needed as a family, and the rest was up to her. I worked hard, did extra hours whenever I could, and we managed to save up some money for a while after that. But Shanna hated that, and that's when she decided she wanted to leave me. Wow, that's… I don't know what to say. That's very different from the story Sienna told me, Jaden. Yeah, that's pretty much what I suspect that you do. Tell you a story that makes me look like the bad guy. She told you that I'm a lousy husband who doesn't give her what she needs, just like I thought she would. And now, she's gone and filed for divorce. She left the paperwork on the table and disappeared. So she's blamed me for what's gone wrong and she's taken off with all the money in our savings account. Money that it took months to save up. Okay, Jaden, now I've heard your side of the story. And like I said, it's really different from what my sister told me. So I have to ask you, do you have any proof of it? Proof? Well, what kind of proof are you talking about? I mean, if there is a record of her spending all your money, spending it on frivolous stuff, then I definitely accept your version of things. Do you have anything like that? All you need to do is check the statements from our savings account. But she went and changed the password for all of the accounts before she took off. Just that fact should tell you something. I know that nothing I say or do is going to persuade anyone. Unless there's concrete evidence to back up my claim. I'm appealing to you as a friend, Erica. I see. So at this moment, you can't show me any proof of what you've been telling me. Is that right? You're Shanna's sister, and it's natural that you would want some evidence before judging the situation. I get that. So when you have a chance, ask her to show you the savings and checking account statements. You'll see the transactions, withdrawals, and transfers. And you'll see that I'm telling you the truth. After you do that, please let me know, okay? I'm confident that you'll do the right thing. I promise you, the story she's told you is not the truth. I'll wait for your call. Sienna, what are you doing out so late? You've been partying every night this week. It's 2 a.m. for God's sake. You should be in bed. Hey, I'm an adult, okay? What's wrong with me having some fun? I just got out of a dull marriage. I deserve some freedom. I paid my dues in that relationship. And besides, I'm getting a nice chunk of change from Jaden. So good for me. That's exactly what I'm worried about. You need to get a job and start contributing to mom and dad's bills. If you're going to crash here for who knows how long, at least clean up your stuff. The living room is a disaster. All your boxes and junk are everywhere. Aw, oh, give me a break. You can call it a disaster all you want, but that doesn't change the fact that there's no space for it all. I can't believe the new house mom and dad built is so tiny. Yeah, well, they didn't expect you to be living here when they built it. You know, they were planning for retirement, so they wanted a cozy house with big rooms, not many rooms. It's just pathetic. I don't have a bedroom and I have to sleep on the couch. Oh, that reminds me. I just had a brilliant idea. Why don't you move out? Excuse me? What did you just say? You want me to move out? Yeah, I mean, you've been mooching off of them for years now, sis. I think it's time for a change of scenery. Look who's talking. I am not a moocher. I've been working very hard and giving them money the whole time I've been here. 
Yeah, but only a few hundred a month, right? And you don't pay them rent either. And mom does all the chores for you. Yeah. You're mooching off them big time. You have no idea what you're saying. Listen, I moved in here because I went through a horrible divorce. And I need some love and support. It's high time you moved on from moocher status and let your poor sister have some comfort. You're totally delusional, Sienna. I know you just want to lounge around and take it easy here at mom and dad's house. And they feel sorry for you. And they're letting you get away with being lazy. So I'm the only one who wants you to grow up. Oh, so you admit it. But guess what? Mom and dad agree with me. What? No way. Yeah, they do. You have to remember that. Unlike you, I left home as soon as I finished high school. Then I got married right after college. So they've been missing me for a long time. Now that they have me back, they just want to pamper me. So who am I to say no? Oh, yeah. Now I remember. You're the spoiled baby sister who's always been their favorite and can do no wrong. How could I forget? How stupid of me. Exactly. And on that note, it's time you packed your bags. You're way too old to be here anyway. I mean, aren't you ashamed? And that's why you're single, you know? So what? There's nothing wrong with being single. Yeah, right. Being single and living at home your whole life is nothing to brag about, sis. And you may not realize it, but mom and dad are concerned about you. They're wondering if they're gonna have to take care of you forever. That's ridiculous. I put more than enough money towards expenses in this household. I pay for gas and other car costs and help them pay for all kinds of things around here. And you're telling me that even though I do that, they still think I'm a burden? I can handle whatever they need support with. Now don't worry about that. Their baby girl is back now and you can move on. Your work here is done. Why don't you get yourself a modest little place and leave the newly built housing for the one who deserves it? I guarantee that'll be a learning experience for you after living here and sponging for as long as you have. So that's how it is? Fine, then I'll see you when I see you. Bye bye. Ah, oh, then it's settled. Starting today, you're a guest in this house and I live here. You gotta be tough with these spongers, I'll tell ya. You really just gotta lay down the law with them. Okay, have it your way. From now on, you're in charge of things around the house. I'll move my stuff out soon and you can have that room. And I won't be coming over anymore once I'm gone. Got it! Sounds good. I'll be out enjoying myself until the wee hours again tonight. See ya! Hey, Erica, what's all this about? What's this about my name being on the mortgage for this house? What? Well, Dad says I'm supposed to pay it now that you're not here anymore. He says it's my responsibility now. He says that since I got a payout from the divorce, I should have no problem paying it. Why is he doing this? Why? They built this new house with money from selling the old house. There shouldn't be any loan to pay off. What are you even talking about? Of course there is a loan to pay off, silly. What? That can't be right. Yeah, it's a 30-year mortgage, so good luck with that. What? Why? I know for a fact that they sold the old place. Did they not use that money to build this one? Why did they need to take out a mortgage? The old place didn't fetch as much of a price as they hoped it would. They're all hoping for more than that. But that's how the cookie crumbled. It's not the big city here. And land out here isn't as valuable as it is in the cities and suburbs. I mean, they made a little money on it, but nothing spectacular. So they ended up taking out the loan. That was always their plan B anyway. If you'd been around or paid the least bit of attention, you'd know all this, by the way. Including the fact that I've been paying it for them. Oh, are you serious? Yeah, both the house and the loan are in Dad's name, but I'm the one who actually has been paying it. It's fair, since I've never had to pay rent while living there, and it's my way of saying thank you for all that they've done for me. So now that you're living there, they expect me to start paying? It sure looks that way. And it makes sense, doesn't it? The one daughter who's been paying the loan off in lieu of rent is leaving, but the other daughter who got a big divorce settlement is moving in, so everything's working out okay. I'm sure that's what they're thinking. <laughs> but that's totally unreasonable. There's no way I can afford to do that. I don't want to be involved in that in any way. <laughs> no way. You need to keep paying for it, just like you have been. <laughs> is that so? I should pay the mortgage even though I'm just a guest. What? Yesterday, you told me that as of yesterday, I'm just a guest that's living here. 
Those were your exact words. Do you remember? I do. Do you not think it's a bit weird for a guest to be paying the mortgage? All I am is a house guest there now. You said it yourself. Why on earth would I pay the mortgage? That makes no sense at all. Hey, that was me just trying to give you encouragement. I wanted to give you encouragement to get out on your own. I wasn't serious about wanting you to leave the family. Oh, you weren't serious. I see. Well, I am serious. Ugh, come on, cut the sarcasm, sis. There's no sarcasm here. I'm not paying another cent on that mortgage. You're the one who decided to kick me out so you can have the responsibility for the mortgage along with my bedroom. You can't be serious. You have all that settlement money, right? Just like mom and dad said, right? Then taking over the mortgage should be no problem. No, no, that's not what the money is for. I didn't go through all that just to spend the money on mom and dad's mortgage. Of course you didn't. That money's for partying all night and buying stuff for those young studs you've been hanging out with. Isn't that right? And that's why you did what you did to Jaden too, isn't it? You took off with all of his savings and changed the passwords to the accounts to boot. And then you squeezed even more money out of him in the divorce settlement. You really are devious, sis. I'll give you that. I mean, wow. <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah, you really should be more security conscious with your phone. You can't just leave it lying around without a passcode. And when you do that, plus having all your website and app passwords set to autofill, it makes it really easy for someone to look at your bank accounts. I checked that account that you locked Jaden out of and there was a lot of money in it. I also saw pretty regular PayPal withdrawals coming out of it a few thousand each time. Then I looked at your PayPal account and what do you know? I saw several male names there in the payment history. With a little googling, I was able to find out who those guys are. And you really like them young, huh? Oh, whoa, what? You had no right! You actually went into my phone and my bank accounts. How dare you! It's a complete invasion of my privacy! Whoa, whoa, settle down there, sis. You're the one who left your phone lying around unlocked. Just like you left all your other personal stuff all over the living room. Don't expect privacy when you disregard both your personal belongings and other people's personal space. Give respect, get respect, you know? No, oh, don't even try to make me the bad guy in this. You know what you did. But enough about your lack of common sense regarding your information security. Let's talk more about your obsession with really young guys. I just saw those PayPal payments going way back to before you and Jaden got divorced. Long before that, in fact. Which can only mean one thing, of course, and that is that you were playing around with these boys while you and Jaden were still married. Now you wait just one second! Anyway, I decided that it would be a great idea to screenshot everything I found there in your extremely poor protected phone and send it all to Jaden for safekeeping. You sent it all to Jaden? What? Why would you do that? You're in touch with him? Yep, I sure am. See, he told me about your out-of-control spending and how it was the cause of the divorce. That's a lie! I told you not to believe a word he says. You can't believe anything he says. I told you that he's a liar. You're the one who's lying, Sienna. And the transactions in your account that I saw and screenshotted are proof of that. You told a convenient lie to justify running away with Jaden's savings and then moving back in with mom and dad. And now you're trying to push me out of there too? You're a real piece of work, and I've had about as much as I can take from you. You need to take responsibility for your lies and for how you've treated me. Erica, I just want to say thanks for everything. Those screenshots have really turned things around for me. I've been talking to my lawyer about everything and he says I should be able to get back all the money Shanna took from me, along with the funds she got in the divorce settlement. Wow, that's really a lot of money when you add it all up. Yeah, well, the lies she told all the things she did to hide those lies were extremely sneaky and underhanded. My lawyer says he hasn't seen a case like this in quite some time and he's pretty excited about seeing that justice is served. <laughs> She's in deep trouble, isn't she? Once things settle down a bit, you have to let me repay you somehow, Erica. I thought all I could do was give up before, so I have nothing but gratitude to you for giving me those screenshots. Oh, it's nothing. Please don't worry about it. All I can say is how sorry I am that Sienna caused you so much grief and financial trouble. I almost feel bad saying it. 
but seeing her get her comeuppance is all the thanks I need. So I sincerely hope that you can squeeze her for all she's worth. Will do. I have another meeting with my lawyer in a little while, so I gotta run. Talk to you soon. Erica, what am I gonna do? They're telling me I have to pay Jaden over $300,000. They got hold of those screenshots and they're telling me I have to pay him. Even if it's just in installments. And even if it takes the rest of my life. Well, what can you do? You're the one who lied and cheated and stole. So you have to make amendments and pay it back. But I don't have that kind of money. It's not in the account anymore. I told mom and dad and they just told me to take care of it myself. I also said I can't stay with them unless I pay the mortgage and living expenses like you did. Wow, they sure changed their tune, didn't they? This is awful. A disaster! First, they want me to pay through the nose to live with them. Then, when all the money I have is gone, they tell me to take a hike. Erica, please, can I please stay with you for a while? I have nowhere to go and no money. Can I please stay at your place? Just for a little while. Oh, I'm so sorry, but I don't let guests sleep over at my home. I'm sure you understand. And a penniless, homeless person is just completely out of the question, I'm afraid. I suggest you look elsewhere. Wait, sis, please. I'm not a guest or a homeless stranger. That's just cruel of you to say. I'm your flesh and blood, your sister, and I'm in need. So please don't be so cruel. You made your bed, so lay in it, Sienna. You were horrible, both to me and to Jaden. To people who deserved far, far better treatment than you gave us. That's how you got where you are now. It's high time that you own that. Goodbye and good luck, sis. After that, Sienna bounced around from one friend's place to another, even crashing with some relatives. But she soon burned all her bridges with everyone. I heard she's now slaving away at a factory and living in a dump in the worst part of town. She even slept on the streets for a while. She's still paying Jaden back as the court ordered. As for my parents, who threw Sienna out of their house, they begged me to come back. But I refused after the way they treated me. Without Sienna or me to cover their mortgage, they had to use their own savings and social security. And that still wasn't enough to make up for what I gave them. So they're both working part-time now out of desperation. It's incredible what people can do when they're backed into a corner, huh? 